Just like every other month in Smart Suite's history, June was a pretty big month. And when it comes to updates, Smart Suite is the best, bar none, at bringing you new updates consistently. Let's jump into all of the different updates that we've given you in the month of June, 2023. First of all, we have what might be the single greatest quality of life update in GridView's history. And that is, you guessed it, copying, pasting, and deleting cells just like you were in a good old fashioned spreadsheet. So say for example, I were to make a new record, what I could do is press new record right here, have an example blog post like the June monthly newsletter at SmartSuite. And then from there, I can take this status as well as the author and reviewer. I'm holding down the shift key to grab all those, press copy, and you can see it copied it. And then I can press paste, boom moved all of those properties to that next row, just like a spreadsheet. Watch me move between the different cells so easily. Smart suite, more like smart spreadsheets. Now also what you can do is press delete and that will get rid of the value inside of a specific cell. And similarly, you're able to bulk delete different cells as well. Another really cool feature inside of smart suite is that now you can actually paste different columns into another app. And rather than needing to create those columns to align with that app prior, what you can do is upon making a new app, let's just, just make a new one, for example, blog posts 2.0, let's just have it be blank. What I can do is, for example, if I snag this entire row, copy it. If I paste this in here, it will now allow you to expand the view. So by doing this, it will add not only the record, but also the fields. So you don't need to make it prior. And when you'll see what it does though, is it does create them as text fields rather than the actual field names themselves. So for example, the blog link one over here is aligned with the actual blog link because that was text oriented. This shows the text data that came from the review notes and action progress. So for example, I could take this and modify it to the same field type. So this was a status field. Let's modify this to be a status field and then modify the publish date to be a publish date and change the name. So change it to date, change the name to publish date and this to status. And you could obviously create the extra fields needed with it as well. And moving forward with the quality of life updates for views, we also are able to do is in the card view, you can see right here, I already have it. There is a shared view. You can turn that on by pressing share view, going here, and there's a myriad of different options you can choose from, just like the other shareable options that we have for views at SmartSuite. And by pressing this preview shared link, we have the same great ability to showcase this in public, now this is available only for solution managers and they are able to give more granular control as can be seen here, like share all fields, allow data to be exported, allow viewers to open records, display the toolbar and restrict access with a passcode. For more on this, check out our entire video dedicated to shareable views in Smart Suite's YouTube channel. Now, another amazing view update is that in the form view, you have the ability to define visibility based on conditional logic. So for example, right here, what I have set up is a show field when conditions are met. This makes it so that the size field needs to be one of these different options. So anything above this 100 range in order for the field to show up. So if I were to use this form as an example, what's the size of my business? 51 to 100. Oh, weird, it doesn't show up. But if I put 501, Boom, monthly investment shows up. And you're able to do this with a myriad of other things. It doesn't have to just be one thing like select properties. It could also be the main phone number, you know, contains a certain area code. The date is before today, after today, whether it's related to another record and a bunch of other different choices as well. Just make sure to look out for the add condition option after clicking on this show field only when conditions are met when using forms in SmartSuite. Now we're going to dive into the different field updates that happened within June. First of all, you can have multiple completed statuses, not one, but many. As you can see within my goals and objectives solution here, it has the completed option as the display format. But unlike previous times, now I'm able to have two completed statuses. So while in this setting, you can see that it's already set to goal achieved is mark as complete. But if, for example, I were to say that also on hold, was completed, that would mean that if I then press update field here, now when the status goes from goal achieved, it's completed. 
but also when I press on hold, it's completed. You see that nice little pop? Makes you feel so good about what you did. This could be the case for if you're gonna do on hold or if you're also gonna do something like canceled. Because if you didn't intend on finishing it, it's pretty much completed, right? You're able to set more than two even. You can set as many as you want. If you wanna add another one as like also on hold means completed too. You can just press this and now you got three of them as completed. And this information is used by the due date field type to track when a status is 100% complete. So shout out to everyone out there who when their projects are on hold or canceled or achieved or actually completed. This also is for the case of a situation where in your my work, there is not gonna be this open assignment in here anymore because I completed it when it was canceled, achieved, or on hold. Now there are a couple other field updates I did wanna get into. There are now multiple formulas that are new within SmartSuite. So there's an array and a lookup formula now. There are two new array functions specifically, which are array join and array unique. So the main goal is to retrieve an array of values from a linked record without needing to add an aggregate function of concat. You'll see more specifics on the array join and array unique formulas in future videos. Then regarding the lookup function, it is also another feature that we're gonna highlight in another video, but essentially it takes in different data from lookups. So for example, if we were to do a lookup from this context app to account, and let's do the lookup field for revenue, and then press add field, and let's just call this monthly revenue. Now what we can do is inside of a formula, in the advanced editor, is first and foremost, it can just support it in general. So you can see right here, I'm able to use this lookup. So let's say, for example, I wanted to concat, I can pick this lookup right here. And when I press add field, it would show multiple values if there were any. So for example, let's go to accounts again and add multiple records here to link more records. You can see now there's a concat of both of that information. But what if I wanted to also do something like a sum if? Right, we can do some if, and then pick that lookup, do greater than 2000, then show the lookup, do update field. You'll see it'll only sum up to 5000 since 1000 is clearly less than 2000. So now lookups are a part of formulas within SmartSuite. Now the next section is about records and how there are a myriad of different updates for records that I'm excited to show you. First and foremost, you are able to change the default name for records now within your SmartSuite solutions. So if we go to any app within SmartSuite, I can now click on this drop down or right click and you can see there's an option to pick from a bunch of different options. So for example, rather than saying record here, I can pick contact. So that each record should be called contact. And then the same goes for something like this with accounts. So I can pick account here, then look, new account, not new record. This makes sense as well for things like projects, tasks, customers, and all the different things that you would call something instead of a record inside of SmartSuite. You can only pick from predefined values here rather than having custom ones. However, unlike apps like Airtable, we support updating that record name at any time. And all of those terms end up getting translated into the multiple languages that SmartSuite supports, all 14. For any translations that are missing, we'll make sure to update those as well. Now, a nice quality of life update for records as well is that you do have the ability to pick between a few different save options inside of a record. So before when you were working inside of a record, you weren't able to pick from the options of save and continue working, save and continue to next account, and save and continue to previous account. Save and continue working now allows you to edit something within the record. So with save and continue working, if I were to change this there and then do command S or press save and continue working, you can see account saved and I am able to still continue working in the record rather than pressing save here and then closing it out. There are other hotkeys obviously for all of these like save and continue to next account since this is what it's named now rather than record. And then if I press command R, it'll go to the next one. And then if I do command L, it'll go to the previous one or control mattering if you're on Windows or not. Now there is an addition to permissions as well that I wanted to call out by going to permissions here. But when assigning a specific person, a assignee within SmartSuite, that was an option you're able to give to people before. But now there's what is called assignee plus. There's an additional level that you can go to at the app level. So if we go here, 
and then go to permissions. We can pick override solution permissions or we can just inherit from, but in this circumstance, we wanna override. So let's do permissions, override, add this person. And then you can see that there is an assignee plus. So with assignee plus, what it essentially allows you to do is pick the assign to field. So for this app, I only have the one account manager field that is a person field. So if I click on that, you can see that there is a distinct difference here between assignee and assignee plus. They can create new content that is auto assigned to them, but cannot view or edit any other content. It's a very key distinguisher here between the two, but it is a nice extra level of permission that you just don't really see in other applications. Just a quick note, only one assignee field can be connected to an assignee plus permission per app. So I couldn't have picked another field even if I had it. It's only down to this account manager field in this instance. So as an assignee plus, for example, if I added this person, they would be able to add new fields that you can see they're getting auto assigned to me when I make new records, but I wouldn't be able to add any more records. And this allows for the auto assignment of situations where people would need this at the app level across all of these, because obviously apps are going to have different fields and it would make sense for it to be at the app level and not the solution level for that instance. Now, some new resources that we have are out as the API documents for webhooks is ready to go. Developers.smartsuite.com is gonna be the place where you're gonna be able to see all of this information. And the Smart Suite API can be used to integrate your data in Smart Suite with external systems. This is gonna cover things from authentication to errors and everything else that you're gonna need in API reference materials. And this kind of alludes to some of the new updates that we're gonna have coming forward. So some more things that are in the pipeline, very similarly to API would be that triggers from an automation standpoint are going to be coming out very soon here. So as you can see within the tool, webhook triggers are coming very soon while the webhooks API is available now. And then from a documentation standpoint, there have been a couple things in private beta like collaborative docs, as well as smart docs, AI features. Those are gonna be coming out soon. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. With that being said, that wraps up everything in June of 2023. And we look forward to making more of these and showcasing to you all the great updates that we have with the product in the future.